guys, welcome to our channel, a foreigner in Filipina and Philippines. So we are here in Tanglao. So this is the new airport in Bohol. So that is the runway, honey. Yeah. I guess it's just one runway in the middle. It says International Airport. Though. Yeah, this is International Airport. Uh, there is also like direct to Australia from oh. here to Melbourne. Oh. Uh, I think that was uh, Cebu Pacific. It's raining for a little bit but now it's stopped. Uh, we've been from Todd Milaran because Scott is going to the extension of his visa and then we did it and, but we're going to come back there this afternoon about 2 p.m. to pick up his passport. There are a lot of restaurants here and resorts but I guess they're closed because of the situation right now. And look at that. But the road is nice, huh? Nicer in so here. That's the airport, huh? Yeah, that's the airport. The old one is in Pagdilara. But this one is the new one. The new airport. Bohol Panglao International Airport. I guess it's a lot bigger than I thought. Yeah, it's bigger. And more cleaner and nicer. Yeah. It's much nicer than the other one in Tagbilara, the old one. I think I'm going to turn around here. Yeah. Let the rain turn around. And guys, there's already a lot of establishment. Oh, that ends right there anyway. Yeah. There's a lot of establishment open already. Hello. But with this GCQ, um, Oh, we have a wild pack of dogs. Oh, there's a dog on the road. And squatters, look at that. Yeah. And even with this, the GCQ is still in, so you, when you go out, you still have to bring your quarantine pass, always wear a face mask. And. Which was supposed to have been woven. Yeah, but I guess. There's still a lot of construction here. And when we get in Panglao, uh, we, uh, we go up and the uh, vehicles because they let you step on the box with leech and check your temperature and look at your quarantine pass and if you wear a mask before so you get in. Over there. That's yeah. Yeah, going that piece, Tag Milaran. Tag Milaran is that way. Tag Milaran is that way. We came in from that way. Yeah, that way, like that, is Tag Milaran. Not much vehicles coming out, but in the city, it's so traffic. Okay guys, so we just stopped by here and the establishment and we yeah, we went to 7-Eleven to buy some drinks because it's so hot and we felt so thirsty so they have a lot of establishment here but still gross hmm? this place is for rent huh? They have also the vapors hub, but some of the stars is close. Korean, Korean, I guess. Huh? I guess that's Korean. That is Korean, and that one too. The one for Chinese, I think, is going. This one is this Korean in here? Mm, I don't know. Might be. It's not Japanese. I don't think it's Chinese. That's Korean. Yeah, that one. Okay, hello guys. So we are here in immigration office to pick up 
has got passport that we do the extension this morning. So we're falling in line for a few to get inside. Okay guys, so we just picked up already the passport and now we're on our way home and we are here in the Tulane City Circle. So traffic since today it's really traffic if you were in the city. Yeah, we're almost to the real bad traffic. Yeah. We did that one time and it took us over an hour and a half to get out of Tagalog. office is already open and good thing when we arrive there uh, it's like there are already two guys waiting that the immigration will be open and then the lady who was working then came and then we already done our the extension of the visa of Scott since it's been expired about me for last me for so we really needed to be to do the extension of his visa and good thing and because we were not sure at that time if the immigration office is open but when we went there this morning uh, good thing they were open and we were able to do the extension of the visa especially to those foreigner who are here in Bohol you can now do the extension of your visa which if your visa is already expired so we went there and then there is no penalty at all like what they said in the news that uh, for those foreigner who are stranded here and who needs a uh, visa extension because their visa is expired already so you can do your visa extension without penalty and good thing yeah it's been a long ride from here so if you go to this other way it's been about my think two hours and a half and the other way i think four hours four or two three to four hours so it's a long drive so sometimes though when we do our visa extension like today you go there and then they let you pick up your 
passport the next day. But today, since we go there very early in the morning, and then we easily able to do the extension. So, we clean the visa, the passport of Scott today also. Then, he let us, she, the lady there told us to pick it up about 2 p.m. And, yeah, we got it, guys. So, I think we paid about almost 5,000, 4,000 plus with the visa. Yeah, so, yeah. And, guys, so you can now do your visa extension because the immigration is already open. Okay, so it's been tiring and it's really hot day. Okay, hope everyone is okay and be careful always. So, God bless and Please, please do like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Even though we are just new in this kind of blogging, guys. Yeah. God bless everyone.